So what we'll doing will, although in exam you are not given the diagnosis, but the patient is. You are given command that examine patient's recordium and relevant. That's a common command given. Now this is a case we know that this is a case of mitral stenosis. So what you expect that means prior to going for your examinations, you should be knowing everything about each individual diagnosis that what you can get in the periphery of that particular diagnosis and what specific findings starting from inspection, palpation and then auscultation of that particular diagnosis. Because one way or the other once you are coming to a diagnosis then start formulating all those things. Because most of the time examiners are not interested in your exact findings. They are mainly interested in your logical correlations of the things together. And once your presentation isn't correlating, then that raises questions that you don't know exactly. Let's see this is a case of mitral stenosis. So starting with pulse, be very gentle. You don't ask and start jump away. patient Just see that is there any cannula there. If it's there, then ask him. I won't palpate this pulse. I will take pulse from there. <coughs> now, what do you want to AF, tachycardia, or normal? Sinus rhythm and sometimes you people are unable to differentiate between sinus and now things really changes when your once your patient is in sinus rhythm or in atrial your subsequent findings patient AF you start with sinus rhythm and give every features there as a sinus rhythm as well. You have just fixed findings in your mind and you can't pick things by yourself. So be habitual of assessing and here you have daily 5-10 MS lying on bed. Check pulse of every patient, AF or sinus, AF or sinus. Because AF sometimes with tachycardia may mimic as a sinus rhythm. So your sensor should be really expert enough to pick that is it sinus rhythm or atrial fibrillation because if you can't differentiate between this basic you're fail. you can't check the pulse and give me a logical final conclusion that it is it a sinus rhythm or atrial fibrillation so pulse pe hamesha jab bhi kisi mariz ko pulse palpate karte hain to ye aadat bana de amuman we don't expect you to palpate all pulses but at least radio radial and radio femoral abhi is haath ka mujhe phir isme dard to nahi bata theek ab ye dekhen isko pakadne ka tarika kya hoga haath thoda sa idhar rakhwa le ye do radio radial yahan ek pulse palpate karunga right now it's difficult to palpate we have put that close on so, here we have Now, precordium. One thing more. <coughs> Neck veins, if your patient has maybe having TR, then you, your JVP will be there. Raised and very prominent. And sometimes examiners, if they have found on auscultation a TR in a patient, they expect you to tell neck pulsations are there. <laughs> Similarly, sinus hai to A wave for or atrial fibrillation is not A-wave. This is just a logical. In, and this A-wave is usually once you have a pulmonary artery hypertension, MS, pulmonary hypertension, RV and RA. Because this is correlating to the right atria, not left atria. So A-wave would be prominent if first patient have pulmonary artery hypertension. And TR, then you expect CV wave prominent. Now this is foot end. Pe ja ke. And if you just see, there is clearly this area, just see there. This area 
اس کو یہاں سے دکھا دیں یہاں سے اف یو جسٹ سی بلو دا نپل بلجنگ ایز کمپیئر ٹو دس کلیئرلی یو ول بی ایبل ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی دس ہول پری کارڈیم از بلجنگ ایز کمپیئر ٹو دس ایریا سو دیٹ مینس دیر از اے اسٹرکچرل ڈیفیکٹ وچ از لیڈنگ ٹو سم پریکارڈیل بلج نو بیفور پیلپیشن جسٹ لک فار اینی ویزیبل پلسیشن دیر اینی ویئر نہیں ہے تو یہاں سے آپ شروع ہوئے یوزلی ان ایم ایس یور ایپیکس پیٹ آئیدر یو گیٹ اے اسپیسیفک ٹیپنگ کائنڈ آف ایک پی اور سم ٹائم ایف آر وی از ویری ہائپر ٹروفائڈ یو می ناٹ بی ایبل ٹو گیٹ ایپکس جیسے کنٹمپلیٹ کرنا پڑے گا کہ یہاں پہ ایک ایپکس پیٹ ہے اسپیسیفک نہیں نظر آئی تھی کیونکہ یہ ایسے روٹیٹری موو ہو جاتا ہے سارا اس میں وہ والی ایپیکس بھی اس طرح سے نہیں مل رہی ہے مجھے ایٹ لیسٹ میک این امپریشن ٹو یور ایگزامنر کہ بھائی یہ یہاں پہ آپ کو ملی ہے تو یہ یہاں سے آپ نے سائڈ کرنی شروع کی انگلیاں انٹرکوسٹر اسپیسز دکھا دی اس کو کرتے ہوئے اور یہاں پہ آپ کے پاس انچ ٹیپ ہے اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو گیو دس ایٹ دا ٹائم آف پریزنٹیشن انٹرکوسٹر اسپیس اینڈ دیٹ مچ سینٹی میٹر فرام دا میڈ لائن از یور ایپکس پیٹ جسٹ پیلپیبل اور اینی اسپیسیفک کیریکٹر اس ایپکس بیٹ کے بعد پھر کوئی تھریل ویل دیکھ لی یہ کر لی پھر یہ پیراسٹن واری زبردست پیراسٹنل ہی دیٹ یو ایکسپیکٹ اینڈ ونس یو آر گیٹنگ پیراسٹنل ہی دیٹ مینس وٹس دیئر آر وی ایچ اینڈ آر وی ایچ مینس پرمورٹی ہائپر ٹینشن می بی پیلپیبل پی ٹو ایز ویل So that's the classical examination things. I think we can discuss further things in uh, uh, there in the round. So it's possible. So we just have examined a patient with mitral stenosis. We looked for how to go for things, common commands, periphery and precordium. In MS, what you have to look for in periphery, sinus or? That's the big question. Answer yourself. Is your patient in sinus rhythm or AF? And if in sinus rhythm, what's the rate? Yani, kabhi 60 ke rate ko 90 ke rate ko 70, 100 ke rate ko 70, 60 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 ke Then, neck for pulsations. Always look for JVP for any prominent pulsations. Then comes precordium. Precordial bulge. Hai ya nahi hai? But that indirectly tells you severity of the structural lesion. Second precordium may RV heave. Sometimes you can see it. That there is clearly heave going on. Sometimes you can see pulmonary pulsations there in second left, right into left necrosis space. So these things which relates with your structural abnormality look on to inspection and apex speed. Try to. Uske baad phir palpation in palpation that means again you have to look for validating that apex beat apex in ms that i already told apex sometime may be difficult to palpate or it's maybe clearly shaping but within limits unless and until you have something else maybe concomitant mr or lv dysfunction or any other valvular legion and you need to know these all things taki aap logical interpretation de sake usme apex beat ke sath phir kya dekhni hai rv sometime you miss that you are describing everything about rv enlargement that means pulmonary hypertension loud p2 but you miss that palpable palpable ایم ایس میں تھرل ریئر ہوتی ہے ڈاسٹالک ہے نا پی ٹو آلویز لک فار دیز تھنگس این یو آر پیلپیٹنگ ایپکس اسٹیٹس ڈسپلیس ود ان ٹیپنگ اور اینی تھنگ ایلس آر وی ہیو از دیئر اور ناٹ اینڈ پی ٹو از پیلپیبل ناٹ اب آسکلٹیشن آئے گی اینڈ آسکلٹیشن اگین 
the classical finding of ms in auscultations are abhi dekhiye fir aap sequence miss kar gayi kyunki aapne kis pe jump kiya start with the heart sounds isko koi mitane batane ki cheez nahi hai kya what you expect loud s1 or loud p2 component of s2 ye do cheeze ho sakti hai iske sath sath what you classical is diastolic rumbling low pitch ye wo jumle hote hain jo classical ke liye bolne hote hain with pre systolic which is <laughs> lekin abhi aapne udhar periphery mein af ka aur yahan pe ka pre systolic accentuation kya kiya apne aap ko clean aisa ke review bhi nahi le sakte because pre systolic accentuation happens once you have atrial to wo kabhi kabhi wo puchta hai fir hum kehte hain ha waqai na ke isko af bhi hai ha ha sir mujhe mil rahi hai bhai fir mil rahi hai pakki mil rahi hogi aapko so you have to these correlate all these peripheral central finding together to come up with conclusion diagnosis its severity isme aur cheez bhi bata deta hu opening snap ek aur cheez hoti hai ye teen classical cheeze hain sounds ki abnormality murmur aur jo classical pure ms ki hoti hai ab inke discussions kahan start hote hain theoretical how is it produced how this opening snap relates to severity of how closer to second heart sound that indirectly tells you about severity in la pressure ki wo band hote hi khul jata hai to ye sari baatein aur ye pura viva aapka iske around and we are today just covering clinical part now once you are presenting तो फिर इन तमाम चीजों को इसी तरह सिकुशाइज करना है यू हैव जस्ट एग्जामिन अ यंग मेल विथ थिन बिल्ट लीन विथ पल्स विच इज रेगुलर एट अ रेट ऑफ सेवेंटी पर मिनट इज नो नेक वेन प्रोमिनेंट ऑन प्री कॉर्डिक एग्जामिनेशन प्रीकॉर्डियम इज बल्जिंग एपेक्स बीट इज इन फिफ्थ इंटरकोस्टल स्पेस सेवन सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम द मिड लाइन देर इज अ राइट पैरास्टेनल हीव with palpable sound in right second intercostal space on auscultation <coughs> both heart sound are audible in all four areas with loud first heart sound and second component of pulmonary there is rumbling low pitch best heard in left lateral position along with it there is an opening snap aur ye ek without any interruption spontaneity mein honi chahiye <coughs> अब ये मैंने सिर्फ एक आज तो ऐसे एक्सटेम्पोर बनाया है गो एंड रीड एंड कलेक्ट दीज थिंग्स टूगेदर एंड मेक स्मॉल टेम्पलेट्स ऑफ एवरी स्ट्रक्चर लीजिए और फिर इसको अपने आप को रिहर्स करते हुए और एक्सपर्ट होते जाए इसमें तो विल सब्जेक्ट समवन एल्स इन नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड वी गिविंग यू माइट्रल रिगजिस्ट्रेशन रिगजिस्ट्रेशन पे और उसमें आपने ये करके आना है वट यू हैव टू पेरीफ्री में क्या मिलेगा इंस्पेक्शन पे पेल्पेशन पे ऑस्पल्टेशन पे और फिर उसको आप कैसे को रिलेट करेंगे चीजों को ऑल टूगेदर थैंक यू